Hey okay sir, welcome back to Harry Potter, Hogwarts Mystery. Check this out, Chapter 1, Beyond Hogwarts, we're finally finished Year 7. I just finished recording the video like minutes ago, so now I'm just going to hop on and record the start of Year 8. Some time has passed since you graduated and now your life beyond Hogwarts can begin. What have your friends been up to? When are you going to find out more about your work? And just how are you going to find a flat? A lot of questions, I have no idea. We're also going to be adults. I have seen pictures of that, but I've tried to remain as far away as possible because I want to be surprised as best I can. So no looking at data mining stuff. And I know that they've actually shown some things as well in the game, officially, but I've tried to avoid it. But here we go. Deep breath. Ah, let us begin year eight. Whoa, am I an adult? Yeah, yeah. It doesn't look too, too dramatic in terms of the changes. KC! Oh man, this is gonna take some getting used to. Penny! Thank you for offering to help me find a flat. I can't believe I still haven't decided where to live. Of course. I just had to offer, since it feels like it's been ages since I last saw you. <laughs> I mean, look how much you've grown. Do you feel any different? I feel taller, I feel older, I feel the same. Definitely taller. I don't look too, too different though, which is, which is good. It's not, again, it's not too, too shocking in that sense. I do feel taller. Do you think I've grown a few inches? I would say so. We don't look like kids anymore. Have you just come from work? Actually, I'm on my lunch break right now. You work as a potioner at the apothecary at Diagon Alley, right? Yeah, I love it. I get to brew potions and gather ingredients every day. And I've even got my own flat here. It's like a dream come true. Well, except for my flatmate, she's a bit untidy. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> it's fine. We're spending a lot of time at the Hogwarts former student center anyway. I stop by the center and the clubs whenever I want to see our school friends. Clubs? <laughs> you know, like how we're supposed to be in Hippogriff Club? Well, the Dragon Club. And you are also a Sphinx Club member, right? Oh. <laughs> Luckily for you, you've got me to help guide you around. We can meet there later. I'll give you the tour. <laughs> It'll be super easy to get around once you get the hang of it. This is great. Thank you, Penny. Wait a moment. Is that... Hagrid? Uh, I'll be honest. I, he looked really small. Because he was so far away, I thought I was the same height as him. I'm like, that's not possible. Hey, Grid, I didn't expect you to run into you here. Ah! KC, look how much you've grown. I know, I was just telling Penny that I've gotten taller. <laughs> hey, Hagrid, who's this cute little snowy owl you've got with you? New friend for Fang? Ah! She hasn't got a name. She's got a gift for a very special young wizard preparing for a first year at Hogwarts. I hope he likes her. I'm sure he will, Hagrid. Well, enough about me. What are you two doing in Diagon Alley? 
I'm helping Casey look for a flat. Yeah. Your first flat. Ah. Picking a neighborhood that suits you is the most important step. Is it? I haven't even decided what neighborhood would be the best. <laughs> Don't worry, Hagen and I will help you. Ah. That's right. Each neighborhood has its pros and cons. We'll help you sort them out. Okay, so the first thing is that we still have chapters and like quests like this. I wasn't sure if anything was going to be dramatically different in how they do things. Let's just see if it's the same or not. Alright, let's see. This popped up. Complete the story in a chapter task. Tap the next button when you're ready to progress to the next chapter. Each chapter has a required number of chapter tasks that need to be completed. The counter shows the number of chapter tasks you've completed out of the minimum required for the chapter. Uh, there may be more chapter tasks featured than are required to progress to the next chapter. You can choose the ones you'd like to work on. Mandatory chapter tasks have to be completed while optional chapter tasks can be left undone as long as you reach the minimum chapter tasks required. Some requisites may have a special unlock condition. Oh boy. Any new side quests or special adventures based on your Beyond Hogwarts story can be found in the side quest tab. Check the memories tab for any side quests and special adventures that you haven't completed at Hogwarts from year 1 to year 7. New memory side quests or special adventures based on Hogwarts may appear from time to time in the memories tab. Additional special adventures that are memories may be found in the memory book, so please check it out. Okay, so I've got to get two tasks done, I think? Finish story part 2 to unlock, finish story part 1 to unlock. No side quests, no memories, thankfully. And that's the daily planner that we've got before. Alright. Oh, hold on. Hold on, what's this? Oh, that's for that. Okay. So that's still there. But I gotta get this stuff done, I guess. Alright, let me see if I got this right. Diagon Alley has lots of shops and is the center of the Wizarding London, but it's very loud. Hogsmeade is all wizarding and also has shops, but it is swarmed with Hogwarts students on weekends. And Godric's Hollow is a historic community, but it is small and I'd have to be careful with magic. <laughs> Don't forget that Talbot is in Godric's Hollow and Cory is in Hogsmeade. That could factor in your decision. So which neighborhood do you want to live in? Diagon Alley, Hogsmeade, Godric's Hollow. Well, speaking me personally, I prefer to be more quiet, so I prefer Godric's Hollow. But my character... They like to mingle, you know? They like to talk to people. <sighs> I find in Hogsmeade, though, to be more fun. Because, I mean, I'm going to be able to go to Hogsmeade and Diagon Alley anyways, right? So I don't think it's really that big of a deal. I'm going to go Godric's Hollow. I want to live in Godric's Hollow. Brilliant choice. Lots of famous witches and wizards have lived there, and you'll be next. I should have known that a Gryffindor would choose the home of a Godric Gryffindor. Oh. Huh. Penny's right. The Dumbledore family is from Godric's Hollow. Just to double check, are you sure that's where you want to live? Absolutely. I'm not sure yet. I don't know now, because again, Hogsmeade is so bustling, you know? And that would be kind of fun to be where the action is. No, you know what? I'm, I'm going to... I'm sticking to my guns. I'm going Godric's Hollow. It's quieter. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going with that. I hope people watching aren't too unhappy with my decision. Nothing beats living in Godric's Hollow. Great. Oh blimey! Look at the time. I gotta go collect my young wizard friend from Ollivanders. I should probably get back to work. And I still have to find a flat in Godric's Hollow and move in. If only there was a spell for that. Wait, that's it! A spell! Thanks for your help, Penny. You too, Haggard. I gotta get in touch with a friend about some spells to help me move in. So we're going to the former student center. New encounter unlocked. Another date location is available. Level up your relationship to have a nice cup of tea with a special friend. Oh, we'll do that later. 
Butterbeer. Okay, I'm pretty sure that was always a thing. Switch Hogwarts and beyond. Some of the tappable reward items at Hogwarts have been relocated outside of the castle. As you progress through Volume 1 of Beyond Hogwarts, keep an eye out for new tappable reward items and locations, both new and familiar. Congratulations on graduation and good luck Beyond Hogwarts. Well, thank you. Before I do that, I wanted to... Okay, this is what I actually wanted to see. What's changed? Your magical world has expanded beyond Hogwarts. With this map, you'll be able to explore regions all over the world. You can navigate by scrolling left to right and down. Tapping on a postcard on your map will show you the locations inside of that region. Let's go to London. Very nice. Seems pretty basic. Former Student Center. Alright, that's what I was looking for. Let's tap some other ones. This is everything for Hogwarts. Everything is the same. Hogwarts Outskirts, that's the same as well. English Countryside, the Borough, and Godric's Hollow, that's the same also. Oh, that's Godric's Hollow? I got confused with the Borough. I thought it was going to be the Borough. Why didn't anybody tell me? I don't want to go to Godric's Hollow now. It's fine, don't worry about it, KC. The world is a big place. Romania. Sanctuary. All right, that's what I wanted to see. So I think I mucked it up. The former student center. I don't, th I don't think I was supposed to go there. I think I was supposed to go straight to here that I'm aware of. So this is where my flat's going to be, huh? Hmm. Hey, there's Padilla. Pretty big place. Am I going to surprise her? Hi, my dear. Is this your flat? KC, this is actually your flat. I knew about this vacancy because I live in the area, and I just knew it would be perfect for you. Blimey, I just hoped you could teach me some sort of move-in spell. I didn't expect you to find me a flat. Well, I couldn't let my friend be flatless, could I? This flat is all yours if you want it. Yes, of course. Brilliant. We'll be neighbors. Now for decorations, you have a few options. First, what do you think about this cozy style? Just my style, not my style. Actually, I do like this. A lot. This is just my style, Bidia. I love how cozy it is. Fantastic. But of course, I'm not going to let you make such a big choice without seeing other options. I have to say I'm curious about these other options. You asked about a moving spell, didn't you? This spell isn't exactly that, but, well, I'll teach you. We're going to use a general conjuring spell. What an interesting spell. I knew you'd know a spell that could help me. You definitely came into my witch. Let me show you another flat style. Enamidus Conjurus. Whoa, look at this! It's a completely new style. What do you think about this sleek style? Totally my style, let's try something different. It's not bad. I think if I were to add my decorations and stuff, it would look a lot better. Because it's so bare, it's hard to get a, a general idea. But let's... Let's keep going. One more style. What is this one going to look at? Or look like. Whoa, this is definitely interesting. The style is more eclectic than the other. It's absolutely my style, not my style. This kind of looks like, oh, that hospital place that we go to. I forget what it's called now. Where Jacob was, I forget. My mind can believe like the hospital that we went to. It kind of looks like that. I don't like it. Okay, so let's... Oh, interior decorating. All right. Well, let's talk about you. Okay, here we go. Remember, you have three options. Cozy, sleek, eclectic. That's a weird word. I don't know if I even said that in my life. 
I like the cozy one. I really do. So I'm gonna go cozy. I like the cozy style the most. Great, then. Anabitus Conjurus. Heck yeah. I already feel like I'm home. Amazing, this is it then. Once you move in, it'll be tricky to change the spell. I'm sorry. Let's do it. It's perfect, thank you so much. So now that I've got a spell, I gotta move in. Of course you do. Of course you have a spell for that. It kept everything from before! That's so cool! Of course, everything here has a special memory. Oh, you got me a housewoman gift. Oh, you're so nice. Oh, okay, that's... It's not what I expected, but it's nice. It's just that the room's a little bit bare still, you know. But, uh, I don't have a gift for you. That's why you can owe me a favor in the future. That's what neighbors are for. That's what friends are for. That's not fair. Well, of course it's friends. That's what friends are for. It's good to know that I can count on you for a cup of sugar or painting critique. Or anything else. We are friends after all. And now we're neighbors. I'm so excited. I'll leave you to get sailed then, Casey. If you need anything, just let me know. Thanks again for your help, idea. Is that a spider? Now, how do I want to make this place my own? This is my new living space. Tap here to decorate your flats. So all of my stuff is here, which is fantastic. In addition to your furniture, now you can customize your flat with decor you earn from clubs. Let's play something. Let's do that. Let's place down the... that. Once you're done, close the decorating menu. I don't want to do that yet. I guess I have no choice. That's a really awkward place for a couch, I'm just saying. It's right by the window. It's blocking half the window. How much has Barnaby changed? Well, he definitely has gotten older. KC, my favorite person in the whole world. Hi, Barnaby. It's good to see you, too. Is it just me or has everyone changed since living Hogwarts? I've changed. I've not changed. Who's everyone? I think everybody's changed. Well, I know that I've changed, Barnaby. It looks like you have, too. I have been working on more. He's pretty jacked. You can just tell, even though he has clothes on. I could probably bench press you. That sounds like fun. I don't think Madame Rose Murder would appreciate you working out in the three broomsticks. Next time then. Can I work out too? Make my character all buff? I'm glad that you're still you, even if you have grown a bit. Nearly every time I go to the Tooth Hill Dueling Club, I see one of our friends and they're so different. Tooth Hill Dueling Club? Is that a dueling club for former Hogwarts students? Yeah, I go there whenever I feel homesick for Hogwarts. Sometimes I go just to duel myself, but I never win. I didn't even know there were so many clubs for former Hogwarts students. You should check it out sometime. All stock of change in dueling, is that why you asked me to meet you here? Uh, actually, it's neither. Well, tell me what it is over around the Butterbeers. Perhaps I can help you out. The city is so crowded, yeah. Very true. I can't keep living with my grandma, Casey. She just lurks in the dark corners. And the city is way too loud for Narl and me. Hmm. But you don't have the money saved up to move out, right? Not yet. I am working on it. 
What's your job anyway? I don't think you've ever told me. I'm a hound master at the ministry. I take care of the albino bloodhounds for the pet division. Of course. Have you started working yet? I'm scheduled to report for my first day soon. Well, perhaps work will get you out of your grandmom's house more. Then you might feel better. Perhaps. Speaking of jobs, when are you supposed to start? I'm actually starting to wonder the same thing, to be honest. I haven't heard anything from my new employer. Where do you work anyways? Uh... Oh, blimey, look at the time! Huh? There's no clocks in here. I just remember that I'm supposed to meet Andre. He's working at the Gladwags. We're meeting in Diagon Alley for a complimentary style session. Tell him I said hello. Sure thing, Barnaby. I've got to get going, but let me know what ends up happening with your grandma. I thought that he was going to be my new flatmate, but I guess I'm by myself. The Dueling Club is welcoming new members. Well, that takes me back. Wow, he definitely aged too. KC, you made it. I can't wait to catch up. But first, I like your thoughts on my outfit. Isn't it brilliant? It is. Looks like you truly have become Andre Egwu style wizard. And it's all thanks to you, KC. It was all me. It was all you. Gladwigs made it so. It was all you. No, it was all you, Andre. I mean, I did the actual work, but you encouraged me. If it weren't for you, I never would have told my parents about wanting to pursue fashion as a career. Huh? Enough about me, though. I want to hear about all of this mysterious new job of yours. Uh, sure, but you need to tell me about yours as well. We'll swap stories. I do like his outfit. It sounds like you're really enjoying your work, Andre. Huh. I am. I get to meet lots of interesting people with unique style preferences. It's certainly a challenge, but I love it. And you, well, it seems like you have no idea what's going on with your job. Uh, that would be because I don't really know what it is. No one's gotten in contact with me about when I start or even where to go. Blimey, how am I supposed to style for you for your first day on the job if you don't know anything? For now, I'm going to leave you to your stellar instincts, okay? Huh. You do have a smashing wardrobe, so how about some tailoring? Everything will fit you like a glove. That sounds great, Andre. Show me what you got. Andre definitely has changed a lot as well. I'm fine the way I am. Perfect. I just finished my shift. I want to see your new flat. Okay, let's just make sure that's the right quest. Yeah, it is. Be prepared, Penny. It's going to be pretty nuts. Nothing's changed! I haven't done anything yet. Please don't say it's good. Welcome to my flat, Penny. <laughs> Look at this place. It's so cozy. I feel like I could curl up with a book and have a nice nap. How did you manage to style your flat so brilliantly? Credit Medea, credit yourself. Well, I can't. Thanks, it was all my idea. Really? If I had to guess, I would have said this is Medea's work. She is your neighbor, after all. You know, that reminds me when I saw Barnaby at the former student center earlier. What do I get the fear that he was up to something silly? He was trying to stick Norlin as a former student. That sounds like something he would do. I think he misses Hogwarts. Sometimes I do too. What about you? Do you ever miss Hogwarts? A lot? A little? Not at all. I think if I was in my character's shoes, I don't think I miss Hogwarts yet. Because I just got here, so I'm still trying to settle it and everything's just so busy, 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 rush, rush, rush. I haven't had time to really compress yet. When I do, I will start missing Hogwarts. But again, because I can see all my friends and stuff, I don't think I would miss Hogwarts. I don't miss Hogwarts at all. It's time to move on to what's next. It is exciting to see what the future holds, but I do miss spending time with everyone. At least we'll always have our memories. The nice thing about those are they never truly go away. 
You're right, Penny. We'll always have our memories of Hogwarts to look back on. <laughs> and of course, we can always go back and visit Hogwarts to see the professors. Why would I want to do that? Blimey, look sure I'll be so tired. I should probably get going. Being a grown-up is hard. Get home safe, Penny. Oh, I got a little letter. This is probably for my work. What's this? It looks official. There's a seal on it, but I can't get it open. Oh, so what's your opinion on the envelope? I can fill a room and take up no space, and when I'm gone, the duck takes my place. It's some sort of riddle, I think. Let's see if I can figure out how to open it. Okay. I can fill a room and take up no space, and when I'm gone, the dark takes my place. The opposite of dark is light, and light takes up no space. I wonder if... Lumos. That was pretty easy. Let's see. Dear Casey, your first day is tomorrow. Report to the Mystery of Magic at half past nine o'clock. My first day of work is tomorrow? But... Oh! Whoa! It... burned itself up! Blimey, just what have I got myself into? I want to go to the former student center because I actually did this quest, but I didn't show it in the video. Because I felt it, because I felt it didn't really warrant it. It's pretty similar to back of Hogwarts. So if I scroll all the way to the end, these are all the different clubhouses: Sphinx, Dragon, Hippogriff. So those are all familiar for people who have been at least watching my videos or playing it. And then of course we've got the secret clubhouse that hasn't changed at all. The former student center. It's just for the pages exchange. And I guess some of you want to look at the dueling. Because the dueling place in Hogwarts is now locked. It's moved to here. And I think I said Tooth Hill. It's Toot Hill. I kind of like Tooth Hill better, to be honest. Well, I can't show it to you, unfortunately. But it's exactly the same, I promise you. Finally, the very last thing I want to look at. Where's... Oh, it's right here. Diagon Alley. This is the same with a little pouch of energy. What's new, at least I think it's new anyway, or maybe I just didn't know it was here the whole time. The girl with the ice cream cone? They give me energy as well. So if that's new, great. If it's old and I never noticed it, well, I didn't... I, I guess I lost energy over the years. But I want to see the new area for the energy at High Street. If I can find it. I haven't tapped anything yet, so we got to find them. There's got to be energy here somewhere. Oh! Oh! It's the same person as before, with the ice cream. Anybody else? Tapping everything that I can. Oh, hey! The little mouse with the cheese, or whatever that was. It's going to be very interesting to see just how it unfolds moving forward. If I missed anything, I do apologize. If there's anything you want me to cover moving forward in the game or just something, just let me know. I definitely will consider it. Make sure you are subscribed as well if you'd like to be, because Year 8 has just started, obviously, and there's a lot to do, a lot to cover, so it's going to be very, very fun. I will see you moving forward with more in Hogwarts Mystery. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye, everybody.